to calculate the properties we have to first find out what is the phase rule and what is the degree of freedom so what the phase rule says you that the number of variables which are required to describe the state of system is given by p plus f is equal to c plus 2 where p is called number of phases c is called number of components f is degrees of freedom degrees of freedom means how many intensive properties are required to obtain the enthalpy entropy internal energy like this so intensive variables are pressure and temperature volume is taken as extensive variable so basically we are interested in the degree uh, degrees of freedom and if we know the degree of freedom then we can calculate how many properties are required so we have again same temperature versus entropy diagram this is our critical point this one is dry and saturated vapor line so this time we are showing only two phases one is liquid and one is vapor this line is called as saturated liquid line left hand side of this one liquid will exist and right hand side of this one is a liquid plus vapor which is called as wet steam on the right hand side we are superheated steam and the top point of this dome is called critical point which is 221 bar and 374 degrees celsius so this point represent the saturation condition that liquid will exist and is normally represented by sf a point is lying on a dry saturated is represented as hc and in super state it is represented as entropy s sup similarly we have enthalpy hf for water hg for dry and saturated and s sup for superheated so why we require this property that is to be answered first and how many property we should know so all this data is basically depend upon the all values are measured with reference to 0 degree celsius and any constant pressure line will vary according to this way so this is called as constant pressure line so during this line the pressure is constant and this value is called as sfg that is the entropy of vaporization is called as SF entropy of liquid this is called as entropy of vapor if we draw here another pressure line that is this line which has a higher pressure as compared to the previous pressure your observation is that as the pressure will increase your SF value that is the entropy of liquid will also increase entropy of dry saturated vapor will decrease and the SFG value which is a horizontal value will go into decrease and this value will attain a zero value at critical point which is the topmost point of the dome so at the critical point we have sfg equals to zero similarly the latent heat of vaporization hfg is also equals to zero and if you want to calculate s sup you have to go to the right side in the vapor region and the corresponding value will be called as s sup so we are interested in the property calculation here now this point has a temperature lower than the saturation temperature this point has a saturation temperature this one is a wet steam this is also wet steam this is dry and saturated steam this one is superheated steam so let's label this point a this point is b this point is c this is d this one is e and this one is f all these points are lying on the same pressure line so in the case of ts diagram the pressure lines and temperature lines are identical under the dome and corresponding temperature is called as saturation temperature that is the minimum temperature required at a pressure at which the steam first time will form the temperature at point a is lower than the t sat value and therefore this is called as subcooled liquid whereas the temperature at point f which is a vapor region is a higher value as compared to t sat so this value is called as superheated t sup this is superheated vapor a subcooled liquid so in this case ta is less than t sat so point A represents subcooled liquid and the temperature F Tf is greater than T sat and is also called as super temperature and therefore the point F is called as superheated. So if you are below the T sat you have to use the word subcooled and if you are above the T sat you have to use the word superheated. The point B, C, D are lying on the same temperature line. So for all this point B, C, b e the temperature is same as t sat that is saturation temperature but we have to distinguish this point so b is called as saturated liquid remember a is called as subcooled liquid b is called as saturated liquid e is called as dry and saturated vapor whereas point c and d it is called as wet steam that is a mixture 
of water and vapor so from a to b we have only one phase that is a liquid phase at point b we have only one phase because it's a purely water at point e we have also a single phase because it is purely vapor for spirit also we have single phase because it is vapor where in c and d we have two phases one is water and one is steam so this means how the phase is defined for all these chemical composition is same that is water h2o so if you observe this at both the critical point and you find here hfg and sfg as the pressure will increase hf will going to increase hg will going to decrease hfg will also going to decrease so we'll go back to the gibbs phase rule now because our one idea is clear about the phase so according to gibbs rule f indicate the degree of freedom p indicates the number of phases that we are just clear for steam and the degree of freedom itself becomes the intensity variable that is the pressure and temperature so you can have two intensity variable pressure and temperature so these two values are used to calculate the property of a steam at different conditions that is subcool saturated liquid superheated or wet and we can find out degree of freedom as c minus p plus 2 now consider a pure substance such as water vapor here so we have component equal to 1 because it is same chemical formula and for vapor we have phase equals to 1 so we can calculate f so we have come to degree of freedom equal to 2 so what we conclude that we require two independent intensity variables so two intensity variable in this case will be pressure and temperature so we go back to our diagram so we are in this region and to locate the point in this region you can find here we required minimum two idea that is one is pressure and one is temperature so basically that is the degree of freedom so how many property you should know so that you can locate the point in a superheated region so we require two property one is pressure and one is temperature if you have pressure and temperature it means that we have to the steam will be the superheated steam provided the temperature is greater than the tsh value and in this case at point f the phase equal to 1 so we can just remember what is degree of freedom so basically degree of freedom means that how many points are required to locate the superheated state the points will be pressure and temperature so we required here two points one is pressure and temperature and hence we our degree of freedom is 2 and that value you can also calculate from gibbs function also now the same idea you can apply to point a also to look at the point we must know what is the pressure and what is the temperature so for point a and for point f we required two property one is pressure and one is temperature now let consider the condition of wet steam so for water vapor and liquid water that is called as wet steam we have component equal to 1 phase equal to 2 component means we have same chemical formula and we have two phase one is water and one is steam so in this case we have phase equal to we have component equal to 1 phase equal to 2 and plus 2 so that answer equal to 1 so only one value is required either pressure is required or either temperature is required to calculate the property for wet steam so we have only one intensity variable is required to define the state that is either temperature or either pressure if the pressure is changed the temperature also automatically change let go back to our ts diagram and you can find here inside the dome the pressure lines and the temperature lines are identical so if we know the temperature we can find out psh from the steam table and that is why we have component equal to 1 for wet steam phase is equal to 2 and therefore we have degree of freedom equal to 1 so either we require t value or we require p value we are only talking about the intensive property that is temperature pressure but ex to locate the exact point inside the dome we require the extra knowledge of dryness fraction so these lines are basically dryness fraction lines so this represent dryness fraction is 0 this represent dryness fraction equal to 1 and we have dryness fraction equals to 0.3 maybe or increasing order basically the dryness fraction is defined as the mass of steam upon the mass of steam plus mass of water so if we have zero mass of water we will have the value of x equal to 0 that is the saturated liquid line and if we have zero mass of water we have x equal to 1 so that will be dry and saturated line otherwise we have value between 0 to 1 so dryness fraction has always value between 0 to 
less than equals to 1. But as far as intensive property is required, we are required only one, either pressure or either temperature. Now let's consider the case of triple point. So at triple point, we have all three phases exist together. So phase equal to 3, composition equal to 1. So we can find degree of freedom will be equals to 0. So at triple point, we don't require either temperature or either pressure. This is a special point and it's a unique point in the TS diagram. Only one point, whether we have pressure equal to 6 kilopascal and temperature will be approximately equals to 0 degrees Celsius.